What is going on you guys? Warrior Studios here and today I'm back with another Bionicle 2016 review. Today I have Kopaka and Melon. Set number 71311. And uh, these are a Unity, they're a Unity set so they have one box which you can see in the back there. And I'm still going to take a look at them individually like all my other reviews. But, uh, yeah, they're $25 together, which is pretty nice. I mean, I can see some why, and I'll talk about that when I'm with Melum, because he's kind of one of the reasons why. So, uh, we're first going to take a quick look here at Kopaka. And here is Kopaka right here on screen. He, uh, it's kind of hard to see with my studio. I mean, his feet don't really show up, but he does have white feet, which is always nice, getting colored feet, because, uh, we haven't really had very much colored feet. I mean, we have like 2015 Golly, doesn't have anything. Uh, Tahu, uh, 2016, you know, he doesn't have uh, colored feet or anything like that, or at least his color. I mean, I know that there's the gunmetal, there's the silver, there's now white, so that's pretty nice. Just a little thing I was just thinking of. But uh, he's very cool. By far, one of my favorite Toa outside, like Tahu, maybe. Pohatu, I'm not too sure. I'll have to do when I do my review because Tahu's first, and then it'll be this one, and then more after that. Anyway, but uh, Kopaka here has one sword, which I will bring down for you to see. It is a sword just using the new 2016 blade pieces, a little spear in there, a little handle using those teeth, and then it goes up to these nice Metru blue, if I can get it off, shells, which uh, are really awesome. And custom built shoulders here, which are always very nice. I always like cu custom builds, even though it's kind of complicated to do stuff like that, but I think they portrayed it very nicely. Except only one con is there isn't a lot of movement. I mean, it really hits the chest plate. But one con, I mean, you can still get some good poses with it. Uh, looking here on his other arm, we have a stud shooter up here in this nice shield but unfortunately has stickers so those are not fun to put on but you know still it looks cool I and mean, you can leave the stickers off if you want they only add they don't really take away except for some of the green on his torso which you can see there it's got his little nuva symbol right there it blends in better with some of the green here uh but you could also shoot this off so i'm gonna do that real quick and i know i'll have to suffer all the consequences not sure if you guys can see that. Studio light's a little bit bright. But yeah, I don't think I shot all of them off. They're all on the floor now. Right. I'm only missing one because they're kind of off right here. But anyway, yeah, there's that. Also taking a look at his mask right here. Just got a little stud so you could replace that with red or whatever you want. Really makes it good customizable. Maybe you could even do some, some sort of visor or something. Sorry, that went out of camera there. Uh... Yeah, so uh, he also has his golden mask, which we're going to take a look at here. The golden mask right here at Kopaka's feet is just like the white mask of his. Uh, I'll, I'll explain a bit more about the legs here in a second, but just want to show you that to you guys. It's exactly the same except with the blue and the gold. Once again, the stud is on the eye. Really awesome. I like always getting different colors of things. Even though this gold, it might be kind of nice to see some red or something like that, but you know. What can you do about it? And as I said, here with the legs, um, you have some of the Unity pieces down here where you can connect it with his feet. You have some of the crystal pieces right up here, and then you have uh, some extra ammo, which is nice. You have the knob back here. Uh, very nice on that. Uh, sorry about that. Zooming out here, I'll just show you guys what you can do with that little knob. You can just turn his whole uh, body and waist just like that uh, very nice I like that I mean it kind of is weird I like the 2015 better but I you know I'm just like it all white mask we'll trade that out with the golden mask which is very nice with the new attachment and tighter masks that's what he looks like which I'm not complaining I mean it's a little bit weird because he doesn't have that much gold uh, a con when he has uh, this mask on right here is the gold on the legs. There's no other gold really in this color scheme, so it just kind of looks out of place. 
Then again, yeah, maybe it's just my opinion, but it's just kind of abstract, but it just destroys his color scheme. So, uh, yeah. Here is both Kopaka 2016 and 2015 together. Uh, I just want to say off real quick, sorry if you can't really see Kopaka, I mean, it's kind of hard, but the, uh, scopes on this one, I like the better than the way they're positioned because this one's kind of lower. Color scheme on this one, I like better. The shield's really awesome. Uh, they're both really great, uh, sets, but, I mean, I like to say that this one's better, but I think they both have their own good pros and cons, and I like them both pretty much equally. Uh, some things is you have this one arm thing, or gear action, where you just have to waste on this guy. Uh, the eye stock thing there is a lot bigger, which I kind of like the shorter ones on these guys. Uh, the legs are bulkier. I kind of like his legs a bit better. I mean, the color scheme, once again, is better on this one. Uh, chest plate on this one, uh, I don't really know. I mean, I kind of like the greenish kind of color on that one. His Nuva symbol is really awesome. They both have stickers, so I can't really judge on that. Uh, as far as weapons are concerned, I do like having like a gun kind of thing, a shooter, uh, but this one just has a shield. Uh, I also do like having a sword better than maybe a spear. But, you know, I think it really is either way. I mean, I don't really prefer one of the, over the other. At least I think off the top of my head, I would believe. I'm kind of tired right now. But, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Uh, which is your favorite of these two guys? Uh, and so, uh, yeah. And here is little Melum, uh, smallest of all of the creatures. And just a precise reference, right here I have a cure. Yeah, I mean, the torso is about the same size. Legs are larger, wings larger, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, he's very small, but you know what? There's still a lot of action feature into this character. Just for being small, you can lift this up, and this whole thing goes up and down, which, uh, I don't know, it's not really that handy. I mean, oh, I love you. Ah, you could hug. Uh, my cool pocket right here. I guess you could be like, Oh man, you're my daddy. Or like a pet, meow, feed me. I'm not sure what you can do with that. But maybe it could be kind of some kind of strike, like it claps, maybe ice spikes fly everywhere. I don't know, it's really up to whatever you want this to be for your imagination. Uh, he is really cute though, I mean like, he's like so tiny and just so vulnerable and just, I don't know. Uh, under here we have the unity piece. Which, uh, might have forgot to show on Kopaka, but... Unity piece! And that, of course, means... A unity! And here is Kopaka, uh, the Uniter of Ice, all unified. He still has his weapons and stuff. But, uh... Yeah, he's got... Now a giant, I'm sorry, uh... Melum on his back, which isn't that giant, I guess. But, uh... I'm gonna say this, that and maybe Onua don't really have that good of a unity. I mean, like, you can't really move his arms around that much without me messing it up. Uh, I mean, it looks cool because it's some extra bulk. I mean, it kind of leaves this bear, and I mean, you can only really fight kind of, yeah. I mean, unless you just really want to mess it up. I mean, it still could look cool, and if you like it, that's your opinion. Just my personal opinion. I just don't like it that much for some reason. I mean,. It does kind of help contrast the gold with the lower legs, I mean, a little bit, because you have the upper uh, shoulder pads, but still, I mean, it doesn't help like, that much. I mean, it's only just a little bit, but, uh, you know, that's just my personal opinion. And here we have the last little look at Kopaka and Melum. Very awesome set. I mean, you get both the guys in one set and cheaper than you can buy Tahoe and Akira or uh, about the same amount of price as you could get um, uh, like Golly and Akita, which I will be doing reviews on those as well, of course. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. I really appreciate that and it helps me out and lets me know that you guys enjoy these kinds of videos. Uh, 
And uh, leave a comment down below. Do you like Kopaka better than Malum? Is Malum better than Kopaka? Uh, do you like them over other sets? What is your favorite of the 2016 Bionicle set? And uh, what do you think of the new form compared to some of his older forms, including G1? So, uh, th aside from that, thank you guys all very much for watching. As I said, and I will catch you guys in the next video. So long for now.